So, by the time you're seeing this video, <sighs> it has been like three weeks and I've had a haircut and I have done lots and lots of reading and things like that. So you are watching the video for uh, Indies in Bay Philly, which I took on this huge project of trying to make it all sorts of fancy um, with a cool slideshow at the end. So please stick around for that. I got sick. I did reading, I like work and craziness in life and stuff like that. So please stick around and watch this next video that should be attached. Welcome to Stephanie Uncensored. So this is the feelings and reactions video for Indies in Bay Philly, y'all. And it was November the 4th. Um, well, November 4th was the Friday. But the actual event was on November the 5th. And it was amazing. Um, I loved that I did a smaller board for this event. Um, unlike SAS and Sinus Hip and lovely ladies and naughty books. I did large ones as you can see in the background. Um, those are bigger than this one but this one was kind of small and it's handy because I traveled to Philly to go to this book signing. I spent the entire weekend there and um, with my quasi um, assistant Jennifer who was amazing um, and I loved that it's smaller because it, it has everyone on here and it doesn't leave any space um, I did notice that I may want to go up a step um, with the canvas next time uh, depending on how many authors are there because at the end near the end a lot of people were sort of kind of like trying to find space on where they could sign their names and um, I wanted to give people space but that's okay um, it looks fabulous I love the metallic that um, I had everyone use so that it pops and it's gonna go up on the wall in that space over there that you guys probably can't see but it was amazing and it was a good event um, and there was only a few things that I noticed at this signing um, since I've been to four signings this year and I just really started going to signings. so what th these are just my opinions on how signing should be run. I have no expertise in it, so if I'm talking out of my butt, oh well. Um, it, like I said, it's my opinion on how uh, things could have run smoother or, um, you know, the things that were amazing about it. So one of the things that I did see um, the day of the signing was that they had put out that this, the lines for registration or to, you know, sign in would start at like 9.30, but when I got there, right about 9.30, everyone was already there. Lots and lots and lots of people were already there. So if you're going to put something out like that, I pretty much, and I've seen this at other signings as well, that, you know, they give a start time for the lining up of, you know, signing in and everything like that, that people don't necessarily um, follow that. They'll come as soon as the sun is up if they're allowed in the place. Um, in the location so that was a bit of a problem um, but that was okay um, and the other thing was that uh, the lines there weren't very many people out there to say hey this is the line for registration and this is the line for standing around waiting to you know go into the event the some of the assistants, I guess, or the volunteers or something like that, I don't know exactly, but it would have been better if you had a volunteer out there to direct people that were coming into the huge event space to say, hey, you need to go here to register in and sign in, show your tickets and get your nifty little bands, which is a plus because that was a, diff a definitely amazing thing. You know, you could 
sort of spot someone that hadn't registered in or signed in yet because they didn't have their bands on their arms. Um, and then another plus was that they had a lot of the popular authors, they went ahead and ticketed them. They gave them wristbands um, prior to, or you had to sign up to see them, um, and prior to you got a wristband that had a number and the author's name on it and as the day went on they would call the numbers well in the first session they didn't give um they didn't give them out randomly they gave them out sequentially and that proved to be a big problem because they would be on say number 30 and the 30th person that signed in had all the number 30s for the uh for those authors so they would just be kind of hanging out and the lower numbers wouldn't get called so for the afternoon session they got that clue and they decided to randomize and shuffle up all of the numbers prior to um getting b before signing people in for the pm session which was amazing because then you had people that may have signed in later getting you know the wristband for number one or number two or something like that so you really got to feel around and see some of the non-ticketed or non-wristband authors and then you also got to see some of the wristband authors depending on where you were so if you were seeing a non-wristband author first and then your number got called you could immediately finish up with that non wristband author and then go over to your wristband author so it was really great in the afternoon to have that flow and ebb um taken on so oh i got to see everyone which was amazing and needless to say there were a lot of authors that i did know already and was super excited to see them um a big goodbye to Alethea Roman, who this was her last signing for a little while. She's going to be concentrating on um, on writing, which is great. It, I got to see her two times this year, and each time was amazing. I went to both. I went to a meet and greet with her in Philly, and you know, got to say our goodbyes. I've been with her since 2012 when she wrote Consequences and I have loved her ever since and lots and lots of love and respect and I can't wait until January when her the final book for the Infidelity series comes out and it's gonna be great so that's amazing got to meet the wonderful Alexa Riley those two girls those two ladies those two women are amazingly funny and they also provided me with some awesome little something somethings that uh, I'll be giving away um, hopefully uh, here in the near future so if you're a watcher or if you subscribe please do subscribe and if you love Alexa Riley then their books please check out and you know keep your ear to the ground and maybe I'll do a video that you guys uh, may earn something from um, as an appreciation uh, AM Madden never heard of her before but really really excited to read her books she was super sweet she was the first author that we got to see uh jennifer and i when we first walked into the venue on the am session and i can't wait to get into her books barbie mess messner and actually it's uh barbie mo bohannon and she i got a signed copy of promise me from her and she turned out as sweet as she was um, as sweet as the book that I read from her and uh, I look forward to reading the rest of her books. Uh, then we have Gretchen De La O who totally convinced me to read her books and buy signed copies from her. She, I actually met her at the end of the day and she read me the back of, which book was it? Broken Girl. Ugh. Oh my god, as soon as I finish with the arcs that I have due and videos that I have due, I am so jumping on that book. Oh my goodness, Gretchen, your voice was amazing and totally sold me on this book and I can't wait to read it. Then we have Beth Eman. Yay, I said it right. Who was lovely and I loved that her Brody... <laughs> 
gave me the cutest way to remember how to say her last name and I definitely appreciate it I'll be looking forward to getting those uh, other books and um, seeing you again I can't wait to read those as well because I have not read a hockey book um, in my sports repertoire and I really look forward to you know checking that out uh, we have Carrie and Ryan who <sighs> heart yes Carrie love you um haven't read any of your books but totally jumping on the bandwagon because I have now have signed copies of them and I've got to do that um they sound really really interesting and your fund or your found the fundraiser that you were holding I hope that it really really went well and wish you all the best of luck on that one uh Cindy Madison Madsen and she was really sweet and lovely and I can't wait to read her books as well um yeah there's like 40 people here so wow that's a lot um I might just run through Corinne Michaels love you always love you got my now like three copies got extras of her books so there will be some giveaways on that one uh Emmy Montez or E.L. Montez I've been holding on to your books, honey, for like ever, and I really need to get up on that, which is going to happen now that I've met you. Felicia Lynn, same. Oh my God, super sweet. I will be contacting you and your PA um, because you are amazing. Harper Sloan, can I get some sperm? What? Oh my God, I can't wait to turn other people onto your books because they were the first military books that I read and... Um, even though they're not really military books, uh, they have a military background and I loved them before I found Corinne, but, um, yeah, I still love them. Still love them. And I got the big, thick, bundled of those books and I would show them to you, but I don't know if you can see in this picture, I'm like reaching. Yeah. This is like the three stacks of books of boxes and you'll see in the slideshow how I got them home from Philly those are all signed copies of the books so there's no way I would be able to find them and I really have no clue where I'm gonna put them in the room either uh, Heidi McLaughlin can't wait to read your military books at either your t-shirt I can't wait to put in the video it's so adorable I love your anchor on the front of that um, Helena hunting Jay Daniels Janet Aston Jennifer Probst love you guys Jennifer I have read the the marriage bargain back in 2012 when I started reading again and I don't know why I hadn't met you yet and your work is amazing it's really sweet and lovely um mm, sorry we have Jessica Prince ah, hearts and love from Carrie Haywood and you are amazing and super sweet and can't wait to dig into your books is either um, Katie Regnery mm, nailed it I had won a couple books from you it was so good to meet you and super sweet can't wait to read more of your books um, military as well there were lots of military authors um, or like have parts of military stuff in there uh, LA Fior L LD Davis Luke Young, M. Never, yep, did that side already. Mr. Joseph, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I really can't wait to get into 39 and counting. I think it is, or 39 and holding. 39 and holding. Yes, and loved new, cute, short, sassy hairstyle. As a matter of fact, you are like one of the main reasons I went, or I waited, and I watched me before you in um in private because your video of taking your daughter to go see it and then even though I had read the book and I knew what was gonna happen I just had to you know yeah that's the monster he decided to open my, my recording door yeah um Mandy Beck Megan Smith Megan Quinn ah, Melanie Harlow Melissa Collins, Michelle Valentine, yes, and I got like three other shirts too. And there were like some there that I was like, oh, I wish I had it in my budget to get more. So I can't wait for you and Mr. Valentine to like do a website and 
start hooking us up with some awesome t-shirts because I absolutely love this t-shirt by the way. Um, Penelope Ward, Rachel Blaufeld, mwah, mwah, Rachel, I can't wait for this new book to come out. That's all I'm going to say about that one. Rebecca Yaros, S.L. Scott, T. Forrest, T. Tourist, I'm sorry, Tina, sorry, T.M. Frazier, T. Louise, Tina River, Tony, <laughs> Aleo. Oh my God, mamas, you are so tall. You and Megan Quinn. No, was it Megan Quinn or Megan Smith? One of my Megans was like super tall. Megan, no, okay. So Megan Quinn had the boobs on her feet. Mwah, loved it, amazing. And you forgot your banner. So cute, so, so cute. Megan Smith had on the super adorable, adorable and cute outfit. And I loved her shoes as well. Just amazing. Um, and then Tia, homegirl. I was like at boob level. It was like crazy, 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 crazy. Loved it. And then Trudy Styles. Yay! Mwah! Got through everyone. That was everybody. I will have pictures in the slideshow at the end um, to show you guys pictures of me and them and give much love to the um, to the organizers of Indies Invade Philly. I am totally looking forward to attending next year and making a weekend of it again. And thank you for watching. If you have met any of these authors or want to send out good love and good hopes for them, please do. Please follow them and we will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.